This is a quick unboxing of the Philips 600i air purifier. Um, I currently have two Philips 800s. They're the non-i ones, so they don't have the app um, access. Just have a quick look around the box. It is open the box because I did a, well, I thought I was doing a video. It turns out the GoPro wasn't recording. So I'll just put it back in to show you. So 600i series, got the Wi-Fi um, sign, means that it can connect to the app. The app is on Apple and Google, Air Plus, it's called Powerful Airflow, Ultra Quiet Operation, Smart Filter Indicator, Free Settings, Low Power Consumption. It's in the new sort of browner box, what's more room for recycling. It says it does 99.97% of particles does all these different um, particles that's the amount it can clear the um, I believe the 800 clears about the same amount just does it in a little bit uh, quicker time the 800 goes up to 18 watts and I believe this goes up to 12 watts so let's get it out the box and I'll show you okay, inside so power adapter is the same one that comes with the 800 there's the unit itself comes with a few bits of paperwork in here quick start guide a, um, just about the information about recycling and other stuff right. and this sort of warranty guide yeah. see it's got the tells you about the filter it's got this little sticker here. On the top you've got the three modes. You also got a, I don't know if you can see it there, but it's got the filter change, Wi-Fi. It's got like a sensor here as well. Um, on the 800 you have three modes, silent, normal and turbo, but you also have an auto mode. I don't believe this does have an auto mode, or at least if it does have an auto mode, it's probably through the app. I noticed on the back here, this door, even though it is a door, it hasn't got an opening, so I don't know how you get into that, but I think if there's not an auto mode, you won't need it, because on the 800 it's got an opening. I don't know if I can do this with the camera. Anyway, there's, there's, there's an opening there, and it's got a sensor inside, and it works out how much particles in the air and changes the speed to clear it. So, so you can see this one's got 12 watts, total power, power button, um, and a uh, the power plug port. Um, this button's different as well, I believe. Let's have a look. On the 800, yeah, the 800's got a little clicky button one. Um, and this one, well, this one's got an actually clicky button, and the other one's got a like arch button, like a um, like a uh, light switch type style. So this is the design, slightly different. It's um, one, it's angled. It's like got an arrow sort of shape, while the old one's round. The other one's got dots, and this one's got triangles. It says Vita Shield. What's the filter? 
And this one's got Vita sealed and aero sensor. Now I think that's the automatic one. I'm not sure why they took it away on this one because it's a very good feature. I think this one is aimed at bedrooms, so you probably would just stick it on the lowest one, um, the silent mode, and just leave it on. So let's get the filter out. I'll show you that. So to get the filter out, you just turn the bottom. Same as the old model. So this filter is smaller, a lot smaller. It also hasn't got the carbon inside. The 800 doesn't, but you can buy it with the carbon. Um, slightly more expensive. If I get the uh, filter out of the 800, I'll give you an idea of. The difference in size. Oh yeah. Just a little bit different. This one's also got slightly different how it's designed with the little lip and that. It seems... This one seems more... Um, there's more air inside. This one's more compact. More. So that might be just because it's a little bit older. So when we get the bottom of this one out... see the fan inside so you just stick that there nice and easy and you close it like that locks in and then it will pull the air pull the air from the, the sides and fires it through the top. It's simple really. Um, works really well. Well at least the 800 does. Um, cleans the air really quickly. Um, and it's just a simple design. Doesn't take much power. Uh, 12 watts total, that's when it's on turbo mode. Most of the time I find with the 800 is it's sitting in silent mode and it just ramps up when it needs to. Um, so if we have a look on this one quickly, let me just lock that in. You can see, that one doesn't actually say the wattage on this one, but I believe it's 18, it goes up to um, 24, 0.75 at. So yeah, about 18. Yeah, 18. Okay, so that is, let me just show you the power supply, even though I believe it's exactly the same to the, the one on the 800, looks the same. Um, actually that looks longer than the 800. And that one goes only up to 12 watts, so it's slightly different. But this is actually better because I believe it sticks out slightly on the 800. Hopefully this one goes flush in. It might still stick out, it might be just longer. But, oh no, that, see that's, that's, that's a lot better. That goes flush in. Oh, see 800 sort of sticks out all the time. And I've got two of these, so it's, it does it on both ones. Anyway, I will uh, do a review after I've used it for a few weeks and I may also do a video of the app if it's interesting. If it's just very basic, then I won't bother. So I will see you in the next video.